Short testimony, napakabuti ng Lord. God is so good. I stand here because of His grace. And we know na all of this is from Him. Oh. Are we welcome? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because you know, sometimes uh, we we accept, especially in us Christians, wrong questions. Uh, in gatherings. Uh, actually, these verse, verses will be very popular, and I believe it's a part of Christian ethics. Today, which is, of course, when I share this, it reflects first on me. That's why I say welcome. Are we welcome in the house of God? Welcome, Brother James, and glad for the grace of God that you're here. So, yung title po pala nun ay Welcome. <laughs> yun po yun. Let me just check, hindi ko ba na. Pastor, upo mo ba yung mga space for her lang? Okay. Yung right side po nun, meron siya. Yung nagiging window po yan. Sa Zoom, di ba yan ako? Hindi, no need na po. No need na. Pero i-share ko sa slide. Pag wala po, Okay. So the title of the text that or on the screen that I made is Welcome. Welcome. And welcoming others for God's glory. You know this passage or this uh Sabi na lang natin pag-aaral or theology that we will use today, and I believe uh, it's a constant reminder for all of us. Amen. We know the blessings, we know the the things that God had done. Especially when we're new in the Christian faith, amen? So, uh, if you see that picture, I just did it from Google. I put date also. Welcome to heaven, my Welcome to heaven. Uh, and so, minsan, di ba, uh, we are in the church, and this is very practical. Very practical in our daily life, especially inside the church. Di ba po? So, do you believe that as a part of uh, being a Christian is not just this congregation only but in every church is that uh, God is ordaining and for example like I have a long time brother we go to the same church before and then in so many ways and to make the story short we separate it because there is some misunderstanding like, you know, we know the stuff like, we just uh, put up like this, uh, there's something happens, and then, that's why, we don't communicate, we don't text, we don't, yeah, just say hi. Honey. So that question is also, I raise it to you, and think about it, being a Christian, and about the text that we have been sharing. So, it is really clear. Uh, in the book of the first verse that we will be going to show in the slides, book of Galatians, uh, sorry, Acts chapter 15, uh, verse 4. You know, as uh, workers of the Lord, and we we have this, you know, by the grace of God, God giving us this uh, wisdom knowledge and understanding. You know, when, when I'm first new in the Christian way, uh, I have this uh, character that when I face like servants of God, I feel awkward. Do you experience that also? I believe. Amen. Especially even inside. Even now. I know. <laughs> Amen. We feel awkwardness. We feel like we are separateness. We feel like they don't belong anymore because they are not here anymore. Do you experience like that? Amen. Amen. So the Bible said there, if you read that one, Acts 15, 4, that's why I'm telling you it is a practical thing. When they came to Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church and the apostles and the elders and declared all that God had done with them. In fact, the passage is talking about the Jerusalem council. If you remember that verse when the apostle Paul and his a fellow workers of God have some discussions regarding the faith that have been shared and we know that is Jesus Christ. So the same thing in us in a scenario in our life, especially if we are inside the church, we forgot this thing. Amen, Paul? 
feel like when somebody is here, I don't know if he sees me or no. Diba? Totoo ba yun? Sino magsabi ng Amen? Amen. Amen. That's why it's a reminder for us. Diba? When we are on fire on the Lord, if you remember church, what do you feel? To every people. First thing, when you know the Lord, way back. Diba? Every time that you encounter something, you welcome them. You encourage them. You give them, you know, by the words of God, you give them hope. But that goes on and goes on and goes on. We forgot sometimes. And like as what I, I said, uh, we forgot this like a basic thing in inside Christianity. You know, God, we cannot pour God really. What is in our heart? We will admit it. We are all sinners, amen? And these uh, passages, as I continue to read all those verses, it's not long, it's short. As once again, it's a constant reminder for us. That's why I'm asking that scenario in the first place. Uh, the next verse na is like natin. Galatians 3.28 There is neither Jew nor Greek. Uh, Brother James, I'll just speak in Tagalog. There is also. Wala nang pagkakaiba ang Jew at ang Grego, ang Alipin at ang Malaya, ang lalaki at ang babae. Kayong lahat ay isa na dahil sa inyong pakikipag-isa kay Kristo. Minsan, meron tayong tinatawag na group silence. Like, uh, this, this group, Christians we are. And they're not because they give me a lot of damage before. Is it true? You know, when I try to realize every day in my Christian faith by the grace of God, I, and of course I believe that's from the Lord, <coughs> I decide it's called mercy and love. Because I believe that is the best defense of Christianity. You know, Jesus, if you see how he lived in his ministry, he welcomed everything in there. Even his enemy. I'm not saying that you will tolerate your enemies, but I'm trying to say is you give up compassion. That's what the Bible said, diba? To pray for them. Diba po? To love them. In what way? In prayers, in meekness, and sharing to them. Hallelujah. So, uh, if you read also the book of Galatians, the, uh, the, the Apostle Paul is exhorting the Gentiles, amen? And these are like, they are like baby. Baby in faith. So many those, so many don'ts, like the Jews, they, they are like separating themselves. When we go back also to the previous verse, in the, that's why that is our exhort verse Romans 15, 7, and I will explain that later. So, do you get that concept of what we are being dealing with? And I believe it's very common. Yung word nga na sinasabing awkwardness. Uh, one time I ride here a taxi. Uh, the driver is a Pakistani. And praise God, he's a Christian. And after now, he keep text me, Come, brother, I will show you something. Uh, I have a pastor here, but uh, sorry, Lord, I didn't come up to now. That's, that's it inside in my mind. And uh, it amazes me because uh, those people no, also make a reminder to me that, yeah, maybe there is a there is plan of God in that. I believe. What I'm trying to say is the fellowship of everyone. We're not in the same church, but I believe the God that they serve is the same God that we have. So, I try to talk up this thing. Yeah, what if I go there also? It's not just I want to make some thing, but the welcomeness that I learned, you know, he's always texting me, but I didn't reply sadly. <laughs> just to business sometimes. Hallelujah. So, Itong talata nating nababasa, ayun nga, pinapaalala na na sinulat sa simbahan nung araw na yun, ah, yung mga kultura, di ba? Sometimes, we really admit that one, that may, may time sa buhay natin that uh, we only uh, meet and greeting or welcome kung sino yung parang in lang sa atin. And we forgot to those people na kristyano din sila, na parang nagiging isa na lang sila. Diba? Amen po ba? So, tinuturuan tayo ng Lord, Lord. Lahat po yun. 
general po yun. And I believe uh, it's an always constant reminder for us in that place. In the next verse, please. Dito na Ito. Matthew 5, 46, 47. For if you love those who love you, what reward do you have? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you pay or near your brothers, what more are you doing than others? Do not even Gentiles do the same? Again, the passage is talking about when Jesus Christ's ministry, we know that the Jews and the Gentiles have this called uh, laws that are the Jews is trying to implement it to them that you need to be uncircumcised because this is what the Torah said. Diba? But Paul is addressing to both of them that it's not like that. The fellowship of everyone, what matters for us, if we have the same teaching as what again, we have the same God, I don't think it's a hindrance for not welcoming you. Because it's reality and true. I shared it also to a brother. Like a sample I said before. Are those people we are close before. We are really close. And then suddenly it happens. This. We know that. Now, this is my question. The Bible says we will love our neighbor. Are they are not neighbor because they are not here anymore and they're doing some other group? We forgot that one. Amen. Do you grasp that idea, church? Hallelujah. Is it true? It's true because I experienced that. I've been close to him before. But now that we're separated, not even a single text I received. I thought the Bible says that you will know that you are my disciple, Jesus, if you love one another. That's why there is a potent word, awkwardness. I'm not saying that we are against them. In our heart, we know that one. And for them also, we don't know. But God is encouraging us that we have to have this, uh, what you call this one, unity. And that is sadly what happens to the churches today. Sometimes we need to think Christians. I know, although we know that it's the part of the end times, they said, but I believe that we have this conviction. The word reconciliation is very important here. God reconciled us through His Son, Jesus Christ. And I believe it's a welcome thing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I believe. Yeah. Hallelujah. So next verse, please. Jesus feeds the 5,000. When the crowds learned that Jesus feeds the 5,000. When the crowds learned it, they followed Him, and he welcomed them and spoke to them of the kingdom of God and cured the was need of healing. And more literal things like we do some church and we have this, uh, some visitors of us, uh, we're, we're not saying any kara sa kanina, pag nagbigay ka, wag mo nang ipanan sa kanan. This is just a testimony that we experience. You know, sometimes God's really convict us. Uy, bigyan mo naman yan, walang pangasahin yan. And I know it happens to all of us. Amen. Yung welcome no word, mga kapatid, as what again the Bible said, it's not just only you look to your brother mm. and then God bless you. Hindi ko na po yan ulitin, alam na natin yung outcome. We all believers, sir. Glory to God. Diba? And what is exercising in that? It's a gain for him or it's a gain for us? By the grace of God, I believe it's a gain for us that is given by the Lord because that is the character of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Yun yung sinasabing, tama sabi nga ni Pastor, pagdating sa ministry, hindi lang kasama talaga yung bulsa. Diba? Wala daw yung always ka na lang crocodile hands. Alam mo yung crocodile hands? Yung may clay, ang kamay. <laughs> may hirap dumumpot. Hindi ba ako galit ha? Kasi na, ano lang yan. I-exhort na natin. So, di ba? Alam mo, bakit ko na-share yun mga kapatid? And I believe, di ba, the Bible said, if we have this conviction, condemn, condemning is not conviction. We understand that, but to remind us that we are the bearer of Christ. How does Christ live? You know, when Jesus, in the time that he's been crucified, of course, kung mababasa mo yung mga sagot niya, he didn't even speak to Herod. Di ba? That is how he's able, how he's loving. And as much as possible, sabi nga, 
ni Pablo, imitate me as I imitate Christ. In the book of Acts, there are full of stories regarding how the Apostle Paul and all those servants of the Lord suffer. But what did they go? They're skipping, you know. Sometimes they go uh, a debate. We call it a debate in uh, Acts 17. But some people will draw them back when the time there's a tension. Amen, Bo? Kaya portrait yun. Hindi po pagiging coward yung tinatawag na magbabantin ka. But yan yung turo sa atin ng Panginoong Isus. Greatest commandment nga, di ba po? Kaya how can we say that we love our brother and sister, they are in other places now, and then we don't even get a welcome text? Something like that. And I believe it's true. And that conviction of me is keep popping in my head. It's not that... <coughs> I'm also part of that one. Amen po. The God that we serve is the agape love. Diba? Despite all the things that those people, sometimes we be really so skeptical, we will just say, si Jesus yun eh. Hindi naman ako si Kristo. I'm not saying that you're Jesus. Of course, nobody do. But what I'm trying to say, He also said that if you love it, you keep my commandments. There is a human part. James told, diba? Your faith without action is dead. Yeah, mag-will kaman tayo. <laughs> Tulog ba kayo? Ugo to. Hallelujah. Next verse, please. Wala na. Pasoy na sila. Bunga na to. Sa... Kung wala po dyan, meron dito. Malapit na po tayo. Diba? Matthew 25, 35, 36. This is what Christians do, and we will dig, dig it more deeper. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. And I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. Tagalogin ko, sapagkat ako'y nagugutom at ako'y inyong pinakain. Glory to God. Ako'y nauhaw, at ako'y inyong pinainom. Ako'y isang dayuhan, at inyong pinatuloy. Ako'y hubad, at ako'y inyong pinamitan nagkasakit ang iyong dinilaw, dinalaw, sorry, ang bilanggo, at iyong pinuntahan. That is really practical. Amen po? We welcome natin lahat talaga, no? Minsan nakakalimutan natin yan, may mga ibang lahi, minsan they are fair set aside, they are like, so if you have this conviction, and we must, it's a must, don't be so separated. You remember Paul when he said to the Jews, I became to the Jews, so that I may win them. Hindi ibig sabihin na kisama siya doon na pinatry niyang i-balance. Sometimes you'll be so Pharisee, and that is very dangerous. Lahat na yan sabi ng Panginoon. Kaya nga parating binabara ni Christo, puro kayo maritis. You're not even understand kung ano yung purpose. In fact, andito na ako, ikaligtasan ko. Mati kasi sa ulo ng tao. Totoo naman yun. Biyaya talaga ng Panginoon sa kabutihan. So balik tayo sa text, di ba? Sinabi nga doon, Lord, when was the last time that we saw your destiny? Tapos tinuro niya yun, di ba? Kung gagawin yun sa list of this, magiging ano ko kayo. So if you see that verse, it's very powerful. And it's a package, I believe. Minsan nakakalimutan talaga natin yun, welcoming others, caring others. Part of being a Christian life, Christian living, God teaches us to do. So, going good for proper time will reap harvest if we do not give up. Blessings are their choice. I believe in that. Anak tayo ng Lord eh. But that blessing also, sabi na natin, you have time, you just share to you. Kasi hindi tayo pagkakulangin ng Lord, we always say that one. <laughs> the times na merong kailan na alam naman natin ano, nag-i-step nag, nag up po tayo. Hallelujah. So next po, ano natin, ay humana. Kung brosyo na pala ito. Diba? Therefore, welcome one another as Christ has welcome you for the glory of God. Kasi yun nga, yung passage na yan, the Jews, and the Gentiles, ang dami nila ang chichiburetse, lalo na yung mga Hudyo. Kasi sila daw yung unang nila. So, kung maging kristyano kayo, itong gawin nyo, itong gawin nyo, itong gawin nyo. Ang daming gawin nyo. Nakalimutan nila kung sino yung tagapagligtas. Kaya nga siya bumaba dito eh. Para iligtas tayo eh. 
we will be not the Savior, but God is the only Savior. Tumagamit na siya ang Diyos. At sabi nga dyan, if we are the same with Christ, it doesn't say only in the church, but universal church is po yan, you need to welcome them. Now, that is the question that I ask to you, brothers and sisters. Those are those people na nawala dito. And we go separate ways because we have something like, uh, something like, it's a, not a healthy scenario. The question is in your heart could be raised. Do you welcome them? And for them also, are they welcome? Because that is reality, what's happening. We need to discern. Diba? Doesn't mean I'm silenced na hindi po behind ang Panginoon. I'm just being like this. I'm not uh, saying everyone like condemning is a different part. But the thing to say is, that is what God teaches us. Diba? To have. Kasi nangyari kasi minsan, maritis na tayo eh. Ah, si ano? Diba? When I realized all those things, it really impacted me. Not blaming everyone I'm blaming. Parang I'm just being There is something in my heart that I always pray to the Lord. Change this my mind. It's not a healthy and I'm walking it. And sometimes we forget. So again, we welcome. Welcome tayo lahat. Are we, Brother James? Kung may mga pinapadala ang Lord dito, welcome po yan. Diba? We welcome one another. Amen? So, John 13 yata yun. May verse, last verses doon na, na ang sabi ni Jesus Christ, di ba? Na, na, by this, hanapin mo na lang, nakalimutan ko ni Jadon. By this, you know that you are my disciple if you love one another. <laughs> Yung love na word nyo, Minsan, we'll be so parang sarcasm tayo. At, at yung thing na awkwardness, always remember, hindi ka na-awkward dahil wala kang ibigay, hindi ka na-awkward dahil wala kang, uh, wala kang pangmalaki. Parang mayroong something in your spirit na hindi siya. Hindi pala natin dapat entertain. Dapat talaga. Kaya nga, if you grasp the agape word, anong sabi doon sa agape word? Unconditional. Sabi ko nga eh, narinig ko rin ito kay Sister Christine eh. Di ba rin ang, ako lang niloko, basta hindi naman ako yung niloko. And that's true. Hugot yun. Hugot, agape. <laughs> Yan, agape yung damit ni Brother Jody. Di ba totoo yun eh? What Jesus said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. We exercise this task. And I believe the God of peace will be with us part of the new thing is part para tayo matuwid. Tama po ba? But sabi nga sa Romans din, ang kabuhan ng kapasan is ang pag-ibig. Love is not for the government of the law. Ang love, hindi ibig ko sabihin sa bin love your enemies is to tolerate natin. Inapos natin to reconcile. And especially to pray for everyone. Bukas prayer meeting, pag may time kayo, punta naman dyan. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Diba? So, praise the Lord po, no? Reminder ng Lord po yun sa atin. Lalo na sa akin. And, uh, and also, if you notice, diba, may nagka-chat mga brothers and sisters, I, I really feel the love. At yun yung nag-restruct sa akin. Yeah. Ako ano? Kailangan ko rin ng paalala. Lahat tayo kailangan ng paalala eh. Diba po? And as we go on and go on, patuloy lamang po tayo. Para di yan ang pag-inpustory. Okay? Keep moving. Keep going. Keep going. Ano Keep going. Keep going pa na. Bisaya kasi ako. <laughs> so hallelujah no. Pati sa Zoom. Uh, you're welcome po. Sabi nga ni Pablo. Malayo man ako sa inyo. Yung spirit ko ko naman na dyan. Kasi nakakulong siya. So. Glory to God no. I know the message is short. And I believe that uh, God reminded us. For this. It's really in the mass of us. We welcome each other. We're brothers and sisters here. We, we we exercise that whole love. Because I believe Jesus welcomes us despite who we are. Sabi nga niya, you are fertilized. You are, uh, hindi kayo kaya yan sa aking harapan. But because of my agape love, I will send my son. Yeah. We have this negative thinking. We cast out natin yan in the name of Jesus. So, sabi nga sa Pilipus 4.8, di ba? Kung ano may yung mga kaya-kaya ang bagay, mabuti, praiseworthy, 
good virtue, good report, we will meditate that thing and the peace of God will be with us. So, hallelujah. Are we blessed? Amen. Amen. So let us stand and we pray. Hallelujah, Lord. Puli Panginoon. Thank you, Lord God. Kabutihan mo, kaluwalhatihan mo. Ang siyang mahayag sa buhay ng bawat isang. We thank you, Lord, because truly, Lord, we are not worthy, but you are a worthy God to deserve the highest prices, Lord. Lord God, itanin niyo po sa aming puso, isipan, Panginoon, lalong-lalong ng Panginoon, mga aming pag, pag-welcome, pagmahalan sa bawat isang agad. Kayo, Panginoon, na nakasalisik sa aming puso, Lord God. Kaya the Bible reminded us, Lord, your word reminded us, Lord, that we will pray without ceasing. We will pray for the goodness, Panginoon, the goodness, the outcome, Panginoon. Sa mga kapatid namin ng hina, Panginoon, uh, Lord God, we also pray for them, for our family, and for us, Panginoon, Lord God. Especially, Panginoon, yung unity, Panginoon, Lord God. Bigyan niyo kami ng talino, Panginoon, sa mga ministry na pinagkatiwala mo sa bawat isa, Panginoon, Lord God. That we will not be distracted by this world, Lord God. We know, Lord, that we will face trouble, but you said you already overcome this world, Lord God. Pagpapala mo, Panginoon, dinideklara namin sa araw-araw sa aming buhay, Panginoon, material man, sa aming physical, sa lahat-lahat ng aspeto ng aming buhay, Panginoon. Lord God, maghari ka parati, Panginoon. Sabi mo nga, Lord, walang imposible sa iyo. Kiningin namin, Panginoon, na may pagpapumbaba sa aming puso, sa aming isipan, Panginoon. Sa lahat-lahat sa aming, Panginoon, Lord God, na ikaw ang mahayang at ang mamukotangin sa Diyos ko. Muli, Ama, nakila ka, makapangyarihan ka, kung gano'n yung kami, Panginoon, tinanggap, Panginoon, despite sa aming mga kakulangan, Panginoon. Ayun po yun, Panginoon, ang pagiging ikaw, ang Diyos na walang tinatangi. Ang lahat ay pantay. Ang lahat sa iyo, Panginoon, ay hayat ang, at ang pag-ibig mong nang di nagmamahal yung Panginoon. Lord. Welcome you, Lord, and we thank you. Salamat, Lord. Feel us, Lord God, especially, Lord God, that your love that overcomes, Panginoon, all the saints. Salamat rin sa iyong banal na spirito na nagpapalala sa amin kung ano yung aming mga gagawin, Panginoon. Kukonvict sa amin kung ano yung hindi mga dapat na hindi nakakalubot sa iyo. Muli, Ama, katakilahan mo, katagumpayan mo, kahabagan mo. Pinagkalog mong yung anak sa krus na yun, sa pagdanak na kanyang dugo. Gospel of Jesus Christ, the perpetrations of the sins by shedding your blood. Lord. Take it, Lord God, we take it and we claim it. And by the power of your Holy Spirit, ito po ang aming sambut na In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen.